in this lesson, we will learn how we can convert our own character to meta human. So for this purpose, we need a plugin, which is 100% free, and you can get that plugin from Epic Games Marketplace. Just go to the Epic Games Marketplace, and then here you can type mesh to meta human, okay? Mesh to meta human, and we can search it. Uh, just okay now uh mesh to meta human make sure meta human you don't have space between meta and human otherwise you will get the error so here is the plugin which is called meta human plugin all i already have this plugin so i uh, I, uh like i don't have to uh, add it to the card otherwise if you don't have this plugin so once you will uh search for it it will show you here add to cart it is 100 percent free so you don't have to worry about it just you have to click on it okay and then you will install the engine i already have this plugin and it's already installed so i will go back to my unreal engine here and i will activate it i will go to the settings i will go to the plugins and here i will search for meta human plugin and here it is meta human uh, plugin. I just have to enable it. I will press yes and it will ask me to restart. So I will just press restart here and all the files I will press. Uh, I will save them if it is not saved yet. So once it is saved and once it is started, then we can convert our character into a, a meta human character. So let it restart now. So now it is restarting. So let it uh, load. So now it is loaded, so I can now close this one, cancel this, and go to my folder where I have imported a character. Now this is a character which is uh, made in a different software, uh, not inside uh, like meta, it's, it's not a meta human character, it's like a stylized cartoon character. So if I double click over here, you can see that this is the character. Okay, and then I will zoom in and you can see it's like a cartoon character. It's not uh, more like a realist, uh, like a, more like a hyper realistic meta human kind of character. So how we can convert this character into a meta human character. So let's see, let me close this one. Now in the same folder where I have all the files regard, uh, which is related to this character, I will go to that folder somewhere at the end right click here and now you will notice you have this option which is called meta human i will go to this option meta human and i will create a meta human identity once i will do that it will create an identity and ask me to rename it and i can rename it to uh stylized underscore character so this is stylized character and then once it is done i can load it Okay, I can double click on it and it will load the screen. And one more thing I, I will I can do here is that I have to log in with my uh, the, like Epic Games account. So now it is loading, uh, it's logging in. So now I'm logged in. And what else I can do is that I can just drag this down and dock it here. So I know what is going on. Okay here what i can do is that i first of all i need to know what is the name of the character that i want to convert so this is uh the name okay m u w n a uh something like that uh and i will go here search for it and here is it i will click on it and my character is here basically so be uh so i have to make it a uh, little bit brighter it's showing without the texture so don't worry about that because we have to create our own uh, texture so here is my character now what i will i have to do is that because it's sh sh uh, using a wide angle to show the face of this character better is to see the character with the help of uh like lesser a wide angle maybe more flat angle so that i can change from here these uh this uh menu and i will change my field of view from 45 to 20 so it will be more orthographic and rather than being more uh 
wide angle. So I will just place it here. Okay. Now here, what I want uh, to do is that I want to select the character and its neutral pose. Your character should have a neutral pose. He should not be smiling or showing teeth or having an expression. So it will have to be a neutral expression, just like what I have here. Now, once this is done, I will promote a frame. So I will select its neutral pose. I will click on the promote frame. Once the frame is promoted, so what I can do, I can turn on the auto tracking so I don't have to do uh, manual tracking. So I will right click here on the frame zero, choose auto tracking on. Once it is done, then I will wait, uh, just you have to wait for a while because it will load the trackers. Now you can see that clearly you have the trackers here. Now what we can do is that we can just right click here and lock the camera so that when you move around your scene, uh, now I think it is too uh, bright. So let me reduce the brightness. Okay. Now if I zoom, or, uh, zoom in and out so you can see that it's just the view of the camera. Now you have to check if everything is fine. Like his, uh, his eyes are fine, so I don't have to worry about maybe if you want to make the eye a little bit bigger here, okay? Or maybe smaller and you can see from here, it's have to be a little at this side. So totally up to you the way you want to set up, but I like the way it was before, okay? Only from the side viewport, what I can do is that I can move it. Now I will go to the other part here and fix this eye part. Okay. Now everything else looks fine here. Only the mouth have to be a little bit down here. Okay. Uh, he does not have eyebrow. So what I can do is that because if you will notice here on the right side, that the eyes are there, upper lips, lower lips are there, uh, no side lines are here, okay? But there is no such thing as the eyebrows. So I will click on both of the eyebrow and you, if I will zoom out, you can see eyebrows are here down. So I will take both of them with the shift button and I can move these up there. Okay, so this eyebrow should go here somewhere. And this eyebrow should go somewhere here. But if you will notice that his eyebrow shape uh, is a little different, the original one. So what I will do here is that I will try to follow the shape of the original eyebrow. So he will look, he will, uh, he will just uh, he will have that sort of a personality like uh, he, he looks a little bit angry now if you want to deselect anything you can click anywhere outside here so it will deselect and now I can put this here okay so this is how I will set up the uh, right side here now I will go to the left side so pretty much I will follow the same sort of uh, approach here. Now, you don't have to worry about being symmetrical because usually, you know, uh, uh, on the face, we don't have any, everything symmetrical. Yeah, maybe in, car in cartoons you have like, like symmetrical of like faces, but usually uh, the faces are not too symmetrical. So you don't have too much worry about that.
Okay. Now, regarding these points, suppose if you don't want a lot of points here, so what you can do, you can delete the points. To delete the points, you have to press Shift and Control on your keyboard and click if you're using PC or Command and Shift if, you, if you're using Mac. So if I click on some, uh, some point with the Shift and Control or Shift or Command, you can see it is deleted. But if I want to add something, then only I have to press Control if I'm using PC or Command if, you, if I'm using Mac and then click on it and then you can move. So this is how you can remove or uh, add. Now I'm done with this. What I uh, The next step is that I will uh, solve the identity here by clicking this. And you can see one by one, all these will get activated. Okay, now this is done. Uh, this is my A view, okay, showing me uh, this. I can go to the B view. B view is actually what the character will look like. Now here I can unlock my uh, camera and I can view how this character will look like in meta human. Let's uh, make the light a little brighter. Okay, I think it is for some reason it's not showing. Okay, yeah, now it's fine. Okay, so, so this is how it will actually uh, look like in the meta human. Now, what I can do. Uh, I'm done with the meta human identity solver and I can switch back and forth to see how it looks like and then I can finally export it to the meta human by clicking mesh to meta human. Once I will do that, it will uh, ask me that your body type is not selected. So that's a, a warning. So I need to go to the body. Now he's like a heavy character. So I need a heavy body and he uh, should be tall and he should be heavy. So I will choose this one. Okay, this will suit him and he is taller. Now I will go uh, and select this option. Now it will start exporting it to MetaHuman. Now once it is exported to MetaHuman, it will give me this message that your MetaHuman is now avail available in Creator and Bridge in the My MetaHuman section. So I'll press OK. Okay, now close this one. If you want, you can save it and close it. And now I can go to my Quixel bridge by going to this option, to the Quixel bridge. And then once this is loaded, I will go to the meta humans. Okay. So this background service start, uh, uh, stop. So I have to restart the background service. It will restart it. Okay. So now it is loading up. Okay, now it is loaded. So I will go to my meta humans. And here, I think the first one, here it is, the stylized character. This is the one that I have uploaded right now. You won't see any sort of uh, like an icon for this character because this is just created right now. So I will just click on it and I will start the meta human creator. So you will just see the logos. Rest of them have uh, the icons basically. Okay, so I will just press start meta human character and it will open it up in a separate uh, window and then I will launch latest meta human creator and it will take a little time to load. So now it is uh, loading the application. Now you can see the character is now loaded, but it is without the skins. Okay, now Originally, when you have seen the character, you can you will notice that in Unreal Engine here. Let me hide this. The character that I have here was wearing a cap. Okay, so now because of this cap, you will notice that here there is a bump because uh, the meta human creator is taking that cap as the part of the skull, which we can fix. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, customize this now. So I will just select this one and press edit selected. Okay, now first of all, what we need to do here is that we will go to the custom mesh and we will enable the editing. 
and it will ask you, do you want to enable editing on this character or you want to duplicate this and enable the, uh, the editing on it? So I will say uh, not, uh, I don't want it to duplicate. I will just work on this one. So I will just choose unlock only. It will start enabling this. Now this is enabled. So what I will do here is that, as you can see that these are some parts, forehead, uh, skull, forehead, eyebrows and uh, inner eyes, outer eyes. Now, whatever is not right, like suppose uh, his skull and his forehead is not right because of the cap he was wearing. So I can do is that I can reduce its region influence. Okay, so there is an overall, overall influence also and region influence also. Overall influence means the overall influence of this character and the meta humans original character so if so if uh, one is there that means it is complete so if i will reduce it so you will see he will become like a normal character okay but if i will keep it one he will be as what i want and then you know so you may, i can make it half or more or lesser so it's up to you but i will keep it one that means 100 percent. but the influence of the skull i will reduce it hundred uh, to the zero that means there will be no bump on his head so you can see from the skull it is uh, the bump is not anymore there but on the forehead there is so i will select the forehead also and reduce it completely or a little bit it's up to you but i will reduce completely because it's not ruining the actual shape of my character it stays as this one it looks like this one now i have to uh, I can blend now with different other characters like his eyes, his nose, but I don't want that. I want to keep it or I can sculpt it from here. It's up to you, but I don't want to do that because this is how I want it. I will go to the skin and then I will assign the skin color. So once you will press assign the skin color, choose the skin color you want. It will start loading the skin color and I can have a little bit dark skin, something like this. And then I can increase the texture. There are different kinds of textures here. So you can see that as I'm increasing the texture, it's randomizing the texture. As much higher I'm, I'm going, it is making it more rough, more old. Okay. And you can see the wrinkles and things appearing on his face. So I have to be a little careful because his chin is more uh, like uh, not uh, like a regular chin. So I have to be careful with the chin. So this looks fine. Otherwise, if I will go more higher or lower, it affects this area of the chin, okay? Otherwise I have to hide that area of the chin with the, with the beard, but this is fine. Okay, now contrast, I can increase or decrease the contrast of it. So it will, his skin will become less pigment, like more pale or more reddish if I will increase it. So I will keep it somewhere in the middle. Roughness, reduce the roughness will make his skin more oily. Increase will make it more matte, less uh, like more dry. I will keep it somewhere here, okay? Then freckles, if you want to add freckles on his face, so I can have more freckles. You can see that on his face, I have more freckles. Okay, less freckles, more freckles, up to you. Then accent, uh, like accents, I can have uh, like accent colors, like I want his eyes to be more reddish. I can increase, increase it. You can see more reddish it will become. Saturation of that, I will reduce a little bit so it will not look red. It will look more darkish. And uh, lightness, I can decrease it so it will become more dark. So same thing I can do with the uh, cheeks. Okay, I can make the cheeks um, like uh, red, but more uh, less reddish and more like darker sort of thing. So Some, something like that I can uh, play with this. Okay, and then you can go to the eyes. You can change the eye color, or you can make him uh, more. Uh, scary okay like make the eye completely white also or maybe what you can do you can make half eye like a one of the eye a different color and other eye different color so you can 
use this option also and scale, uh, this is the inside eye part like this part scale, uh, like, like sclera so sclera is this inside part you can do it veins I can increase veins more less veins so less brighter darker so totally up to you what you want to do I can make it more both do the same thing so you can do that So you can see more reddish it will, it will become okay now i can uh also a little bit yellowish okay teeth if i will go it will show me the teeth variation uh but i have to first of all open the jaw to see that let's go back here Sometimes it takes a little time to rotate or uh, to open the mouth. Maybe you have to come back and forth like you have to. Uh, because of the internet speed also it depends. Okay. So if your mouth is not open, usually it opens the mouth. If it is not opening, you can do from here or uh, uh, like exit and, and, and enter again. Then it will show. You can add makeup. I don't want to add the makeup head. So maybe I can have styles here, different hair, uh, hairs. So whatever hair I want, I can choose from here and apply, apply it there. Then I can choose the presets or custom colors. So I can choose whatever color I want. So eyebrows, styles or details, so you have uh, different sort of them. Okay, presets also I can choose. Eyelashes I will not change. Uh, I can you can also go to the styles and change the eyelashes if you want. Mustache style I can go and choose a mustache here. Beard also style and I can choose a beard also just like this or maybe like this. Okay, so you have different sort of uh, ways of fixing the, uh, like uh, editing this proportions. It's fine. Maybe I can make the head bigger or maybe I can make the head smaller or maybe in the middle. So more cartoonish if you will make it bigger. Then tops, you can more like decide what you want him to wear. And then you can change the color, add graphics to it. So whatever you want to do, you can do that. And then button, what you want him to wear. What color you want. And then maybe at the end, you can see that if you want to add a shoe, you can add the shoes. You can give colors to it, whatever color you want. So these are a uh, the few different things that you can do with that. So once you are done, it will show you uh, how many levels of detail that there are. So uh, it have uh, around uh, uh, like seven. You can all also change the hair to the hair card. So if you will do that, it will show the hair card. Otherwise, uh, the hair strands. Seven will show you the lowest quality. This is how it will look like with the lowest quality. And this is how it will look like with the highest quality. Okay. So I will go back here to my home. And, and now you can see that my character is ready. The stylized character. So my stylized character is ready. Uh, and now what I can do is that I can close from here. And I can go back to my... Uh, Un, uh, Unreal Engine and here is the character which I just created okay and uh, the hair I chose is basically uh, will only show me on the level of detail 0 and level of detail 1 it will not show me from 2, 3 or 4 because it's very uh, like high resolution uh, like you can say uh, like hair okay so these are high resolution hair it won't work uh 
like uh, on uh, lower uh, level of detail it will work on the higher level of detail means like zero or one uh, now you can see it will take a little time to update so you can download it from here you can add it in your uh, in your uh, like unreal engine and you can work on this so this is how you can convert any character that you have into a meta human character so again, if your eyes are bigger, if or you have the cap or any like you have horns coming out of the head, like a devil horns or anything that is unusual, what will happen is that that part won't be uh, read by the meta human creator. It uh, it it won't be processed and what meta human uh, like character. Uh, can uh, reduce the influence like the way I did it for the skull and the forehead. You can reduce the influence of those parts like for the eye area around the eyes, you can reduce the influence or maybe a forehead, you can reduce the influence to make it look uh, more like, uh, uh, like stylized, but without any bumps or deformation. So I hope you have uh, learned uh, how, uh, like from this lesson, like how you can convert your own character your to a meta-human uh, character.